Okay, so let's solve this problem. So in a binomial expansion using this Pascal's triangle, and this is the formula. So we have 1, then 1 and 1, starts with 1, then add these two numbers, so 1 plus 1, that's 2, ends with 1, then we have 1, add these two numbers, so 1 plus 2, that's 3, 2 plus 1, that's 3, then ends with 1, then we have 1, 1 plus 3, that's 4, 3 plus 3, that's 6, 3 plus 1, that's 4, then ends with 1, then we have 1, 1 plus 4, that's 5, 4 plus 6, that's 10, 6 plus 4, that's 10, and 4 plus 1, that's 5, then ends with 1, then just continue the process, then for the binomial equation, so we have the quantity of a plus b to the power 0, because everything with exponent 0, that's equal to 1, and this one is quantity of a plus b to the power 1, quantity of a plus b to the power 2, to the power 3, to the power 4, to the power 5, and quantity of a plus b to the power n. So these numbers are just the numerical coefficient of the expansion. So if we have this given, the quantity of 3x minus 4y to the power 4, so to expand this binomial equation using this Pascal's triangle, since the exponent is 4, so we have this 4, and these are the numerical coefficient. So that's 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Then in the given, this one is A. And we have this B. Then for A, the exponent is going down. So starts with 3x to the power 4. So we have 3x to the power 4. 3x to the power 3, 3x to the power 2, and 3x to the power 1. So the exponent is going down. And for b, the exponent is going up. So we have this negative 4y to the power 4. So starts on the last term. So this one is negative 4y to the power 4 negative 4y to the power 3, negative 4y to the power 2, and negative 4y to the power 1. So the exponent is going up. Then the operation, so all plus. So this is now the equation for every terms. Then to simplify, so we have 1 times 3 to the power 4, that's 81 then x to the power 4, then plus 4 times 3 to the power 3, this one is 27, then x to the power 3 times this negative 4y, then plus, so we have 6, 3 to the power 2, that's 9, then x to the power 2, times negative 4 to the power 2, this one is positive 16, and y to the power 2. Then plus 4 times 3x, then times this negative 4 to the power 3. So we have negative 4 to the power 3 equals, that's negative 64. So we have negative 64, then y to the power 3, then plus 1 times negative 4 to the power 4. So negative 4 to the power 4. So take note if the number is negative, so you need to put that inside the parentheses. 
So that one is 256. So we have 256. Then y to the power 4. Then to simplify, so this one is 81x to the power 4. Then multiply these numbers, so 4 times 27 times negative 4. So we have 4 times 27 times negative 4 equals, so that's negative 432. So minus 432, then copy the variables. So x to the power 3 and y. Then for this term, so 6 times 9 times 16. So we have 6 times 9 times 16, then equals, that's 864. So plus... 864, then copy the variables, so x to the power 2 and y to the power 2. Then for this term, so 4 times 3 times negative 64. So we have 4 times 3 times negative 64 equals, so that's negative 768. So minus... 768, then x, then y, to the power 3, then plus 256y to the power 4. So this is now the expansion of the given binomial equation.